Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at AWS Identity and Access Management, also known as IAM. And you can use this service to create and manage AWS users, groups, uh, use permissions to allow and deny their access to AWS resources. So there's a, quite a few components here. Let's get to it. So the first is IAM policies. So these are JSON documents which grant permissions for specific users, groups, or a role to access services. And policies are attached to IAM identities. Then you have IAM permissions or a permission. And this is an API action that can or cannot be performed, and they're re represented in the IAM policy document. Then there's the IAM identities. So we have IAM users. These are end users who log into the console or interact with AWS resources programmatically or via clicking UI interfaces. You have IAM groups. So these, these uh, group up your users so they all share the same permission levels. So that maybe it's admins, developers, or auditors. Then you have IAM roles. So these roles grant AWS resources uh, permissions to specific AWS API actions and associate policies to a role and then assign it to an AWS resource. So just understand that roles are when you're attaching these to uh, resources. So like if you have an EC2 instance and you say it has to access S3, you're gonna be attaching a, a role, not a policy directly, okay?